Damon here with IGN News. Satoru Iwata, president and CEO of Nintendo, reportedly faces big challenges this summer. According to Japanese publication Nikkei, Iwata is coming upon a, quote, June of trials, as the Nintendo president's approval rating has been dropping for the past three years. Nintendo hosts a general shareholder meeting every June, in which the company's investors vote to approve keeping Iwata on the board of directors. The report states Iwata's approval rating was 93% in 2011, but that dipped to 77% last year. In addition, the Nikkei says that investors are becoming irritated with Nintendo's inability to find new profits. In January, Iwata lowered Nintendo's forecast, saying the company expects a net loss of 25 billion yen instead of a net profit of 55 billion yen. At the same time, the president also slashed the Wii U sales forecast for the fiscal year from 9 million to 2.8 million. Because of this underperformance, Iwata took a 50% pay cut earlier this year. But Nikkei implies that the president might not be re-elected come June, in which case his pay cut hasn't satisfied shareholders. Iwata has previously stated that he won't resign, telling investors earlier this year that there will be no major management shakeup in the short term. Iwata plans to right the ship at Nintendo with new initiatives, such as focusing on the appeal of the Wii U gamepad and introducing a quality of life platform in the next year or two. But the question remains, even with the company's 500 billion yen war chest, how much time does the president and CEO have? This is IGN News.